Hey everybody, it's Nintendo Guest 100 here with Let's Play Pokemon Emerald Part 15. In the last episode, we went to the glass workshop, and in this episode, we're going to be getting the item from this guy. It is the Soot Sack. As, since this area is covered with volcanic ash, you can collect ash, and he can turn it into different flutes, which I probably won't be using, but oh well. So, cue the intro. Alright, back on the Route 113, and it's time to get interrupted. Okay, actually this interruption wasn't that bad, because now um, I'll be able to catch this male Spinda. Which, if you're wondering what I'm going to use it for, it is going to be used for a breeding chain for my next team member, which I will explain breeding chains when I get around time to getting that team member, which, I'm, but like I said, it probably won't be for a while. And okay, yeah, I don't want to nickname it, yeah, Spinda, you're creepy looking, you look like you're on drugs. But okay, let's see what we got right here. Oh, TM32 Double Team. Not bad. I've never really cared for Double Team much, but... Awesome, level 35. Only one level away from evolution. Awesome. Alright, but as I was saying, now we're pretty much right outside of... We're pretty much on the outskirts of Fall Arbor right now, which is the next town. Though there is not a gym, but there is a battle tent, which you've seen in Verdant Turf and... Um, Slateport, which I might make a bonus video of me showing them um, once I get Skarmory over level 30, because I think the minimum is level 30, and I'll just show them off then. Um, I'll probably just explain the, how the battles in there work, and then um, speed up the battles and everything, show you what some of the prizes are. But that, that'll be a later time. And, ooh, item. Huh. I never knew this was down here. Hyper Potion. That's not too bad for this point of the game. But, okay... Let's see, yeah, one, yeah, okay, yeah, fall over town, we know that, I just told you that. I make this sign completely useless. But, okay, let's see, what's this guy? Oh, a bird keeper. Uh, he's probably just got weak Pokemon. Oh, a Skarmory, whoa. Finally, a trainer who knows what they're doing. Let's see if he knows how to use this thing. Obviously not, because I'm just I'm gonna burn him to death. Haha. <laughs> And yeah, it was only one level over the one that I caught, and it's mine's already stronger. That would have been so ironic if it had leveled up right there. Haha. <laughs> okay, yeah, Swellow. Huh, no. Wait a minute. The, the Swellow doesn't. It does, Taylor doesn't evolve until like level what? Twenty-two. Huh. It's like the cheating Manectric and um Magneton that Watson had. How can they do that? That's not fair. Oh well, you die. <laughs> It'd be funny if you could, like, turn him into, like, the little fried chicken, like, um, you see in all the old cartoons whenever a bird gets torched or something. Hey, <laughs> whatever. Me making lame references, that's kind of become my thing now. Yeah, don't care what you have to say, I just want to kick your butt, make some money. <laughs> Alright. A picnicker and a Meryl. Yeah, you know, actually, I was going to say, well, yeah, that Meryl probably wouldn't be bad around here. You could probably get some good levels off of it for it for yeah yeah god I can't talk <laughs> haven't said that in a while um she could probably level that up pretty well um around here new level 20 already nice um she could probably level it up pretty quickly with all the slugmas and everything around here and okay a lombre whatever and I did not mean to use bulk up right there oh well that just makes it more um likely that I'm gonna take it out in one hit but who ever do oh god earthquake Crap, 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 crap. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Please. Don't kill me. Please. <laughs> really? That was pathetic. See, Peck did more than that. I don't care if I have a level advantage. That was pathetic. I mean, seriously. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's sure, surely all, all a dream. And here we are in Fall Arbor. 
A farm community with small gardens. Whatever. Interesting place to have gardens. Alright, in the Pokemon Center. Oh, who's this lady who's blocking my PC, even though I never will probably ever use it, which I probably should sooner or later, because my bag's probably running out of room. But, since I probably won't be catching that many Pokemon, except for maybe the legendaries, which... Oh, spoilers! Legendaries! Not gonna say anything. And what's this guy got to say? Is this it? Okay, no, I'm thinking of a guy in another Pokemon Center. Yeah, yeah, I'm a trainer. What do I... Why do you care? Yeah, blah, blah. Oh. Okay, yeah, she's using the storage system. Yeah, she actually is the one who made the PC system in, um... Uh, the Hoenn region. So she's pretty much the Hoenn region's bill. That she has an obsession with Eevee. Which... I don't blame him. Eevee's a cool Pokemon. Let's see, what's in here? I know that there's something interesting in some of these houses. Uh, nope, this is not the house I'm thinking of. Ooh, crater. Is there anything in here? Oh, nice, a nugget. Cool. I, for I forgot that was there. Let's see. Okay, this is the Move Tutor's house. This is something I think was new to Generation 3. Um, if a Pokemon has forgotten a move, um, like you've deleted it in the past, you can relearn it if you give the guy a heart scale, which... Yeah, I've got the heart scale. I think probably the one I got in, um, uh, Duford. Okay, let's see what Skarmory could learn. I'm not gonna teach you anything. Of course, only Leer. Yeah, don't really care about Leer. Not a good move. Yeah. Yeah, I don't really need to teach him anything. I probably won't have to. Well, I might come back here later. In the Fossil Maniac's house. Could this be the same guy from, uh, Mount Moon, maybe? What's the little guy got to say? Big Brother's Fossil Maniac, yeah, blah, 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 loves digging holes. Oh, cool, we get TM28 Dig, um, which basically you burrow underground for the first turn and then you hit him. The only problem with using that move is if your opponent uses Earthquake or Magnitude, it deals double damage to you. But yeah, you want a fossil, blah, 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 he doesn't have any for you right now, but we will be back here later in the game. Much later in the game. Much, much later. Okay, I think you guys get the point. <laughs> okay, let's get out of here. Alright. Can we battle you? Okay, yep, we can battle you. Alright. Ugh. That just reminds me. There's a fisherman I actually missed on Route 110. <laughs> I better go back and fight that guy. Ooh, a barboat. That's actually probably the first time we've seen one of those in this game. Oh well, I'm probably gonna take it out in one shot anyway. Yeah, double kick. Yeah, water ground type, not too bad. It's kind of a, it's pretty much another Quagsire, not a big deal. Um, but, oh well, like I said, one shot, one kill. Alright, let's see. This guy, what does he give you? He, uh, scares away people with roar, and we get TM05, roar. Basically, um, if you're in battle, it'll make your opponent switch out. If you're, if it's a wild encounter, it'll scare the Pokemon away. Let's see, can I... Can I pull this off? I don't want to battle, do a double battle. Come on, look away, look away. Yes! Yes! Got it! Haha! <laughs> yeah, you're not just a pretty face, you're probably just um, a weak trainer. Let's see. What do you got? Okay, Nuzleaf, not too bad. Um, I don't know if I went over this in the past, but when I first played through Emerald, um, I had a uh, C Dot and a friend of mine who was a big Pokemon fan and I, w I, I, I kept pestering about, like, should I do this, should I do this, should I do this, because it was, like, the first time I'd ever really played a Pokemon game, and he told me, do not e he told me to not evolve C Dot until it was, like, level, like, 43 or something, or whenever it learns Explosion, I was like, okay, this is starting to get pointless, I, but I still did level it up that high, and, wait, Fisherman Kai, y Kai, y is it one of the Kai's? Which one is it? The North, South, East, West Kai, Supreme Kai, what? Huh. And how ironic, I'm fighting it with Kaioken. Huh. That's pretty cool. I didn't know they had trainer names like that. That's pretty awesome. Fisherman Kai. Wow, is King Kai that bored? But, okay, um, like I was saying, I, I did not think that explosion was going to pay off that much, and as you saw right, right there, energy powder heals some HP, but makes your Pokemon like you less. Um, yeah, I didn't think explosion was really going to pay off. I got to the champion battle, which I'm not going to spoil what the champion battle is, but we were both on our last Pokemon. It was my, um, fully evolved Shiftry versus his, um, I'm not going to spoil it for you, 
even though you guys probably already know what his team is. Um, but uh, I was like, okay, if I don't do something right now, I'm going to lose. I used Explosion. Killed both of us, but since he went down first, it still counted as a win for me. That was like probably my most memorable Pokemon moment ever. It, well, it's not that memorable anymore. Can, well, it's still always going to have a special place in my heart considering, well, first time I ever beat a Pokemon game by myself. Um, and how did that not take that thing out in one shot? Oh well. But now it's got some major competition with my encounter with the shiny, awesome Super Skarmory. Ha 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 ha. Um, which actually, I'm actually surprised yesterday I didn't mention this in the video that along with the along the lines of shiny Johto Pokemon, um, actually the other day I went by GameStop um, and picked up my shiny Raikou. Um, actually, I picked up three shiny Raikous, one for my Pearl Diamond. Not diamond, I don't have diamond. My pearl, platinum, and heart gold game. And since my little brother, he's got um, diamond and soul silver, he got. So he was able to get two. So all together, we got five shiny Raikus. And then, um, like next week, there's gonna be the shiny Entei and everything. And then, I think it's the Ashes Pikachu after that. I'm a, I'll probably put up annotations right here talking about those um, events. Um, and then I think there's also, oh, cool, level 21, awesome. Um, then there's the, I believe it's either the Suicune and then the Celebi or vice versa. Let's see, is there anything over here? Okay, yes, there was a revive, which I probably won't be needing because I don't plan on getting knocked out anytime soon. Okay, yeah, and over here, this is that girl Lynette's house. I don't think I actually mentioned her name before. Yeah, okay, that's kind of funny. But yeah, her name is Lynette. She, like I said, she's pretty much this region's bill. Um, and she told us to come over and visit her, so... Hmm, maybe she'll give us something really interesting. Maybe she'll give us one of her favorite Pokémon, kind of like Bill did. Maybe we're, we're gonna get an Eevee. That'd be, that'd be pretty cool. Well, nah. Even if I could get an Eevee, I probably wouldn't use it. Because it's kind of hard to get evolutionary stones in this game. It was a lot easier back in Generation 1. Because the same town that you got, well, generation, I, mean, I should say Kanto, like, red, blue, yellow, fire, red, leaf, green. It was really easy to get your evolution because you got the Eevee in the same town that you could actually buy the evolutionary stones, which they haven't done since, which, and be able to get them in bulk like that so easily. And speaking of bulk, there's the Bluckberry, which I always used to call the Bulkberry. Okay. And, uh, can I get over there? I want those berries. Uh, oh well. I don't think I can get over there yet. And god, her house is cluttered. I thought my room could get bad, but this is a Lotad doll. That was completely and utterly pointless. But, okay, whatever. Uh, awesome, level 36! Yay, we get to evolve! Yay! What? Kaioken is evolving! Da, da, da. Da, 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 da. Okay, I'll stop singing. I'm messing this all up. And yeah, come on, come on, come on. Ooh, it looks so cool. Come on, come on, come on. Yes. Da, da, da. Okay, I'll stop. Stop. Kaioken times three. Yes, congratulations. Kaioken evolved into Blaziken. Yeah, Kaioken Blaziken. Hmm. And it's trying to learn Blaze Kick, which actually, you know, uh, nah. I'm gonna. Flamethrower beats it out right in this generation. I know a lot of you Blaziken fans are probably saying, GASP! You didn't use it? And why am I not cutting this out? I don't know. Probably because I just want to rant. Oh well, deal with it. And we get to see Kaioken in all his glory. And it still has Peck. Oh well, that'll probably get replaced for something a lot better later in the game. Which, uh, speaking of moves, um... That TM for Steel Wing that we got from Steven um, back in Duford Cave, I'm not sure whether I'm going to teach it to Skarmory yet. If, um, I, I don't know if I keep the EXP share on it until it gets to level 32, which is when it learns that, um, I, I won't need to teach it to it. Um, but we'll see how that works out. I don't know. I might teach it that. But I probably won't be using it in battle for a little while. Maybe not until 
maybe not for another video or two. And speaking of Scooper's Carmory, leveled up. Awesome. And another Nuzleaf. What is with people using Nuzleaf on this route? What's with people using grass Pokemon? Well, at least part grass Pokemon, because there was the there was a Lombre that 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 girl and that gave us a Lotad doll, which is which is a part grass. I know it's not an actual Pokemon. I know it's just a doll for your um, secret hideout and everything, or secret base, which I'll go over that later. And what do you got to say? A foo, a foo. What is that supposed to be? A laugh or what? And okay, someone's got an obsession. And wow, I was just mentioning Steven, and this guy's name is Steve. Okay, ironic, I know. But okay, yep. Kick to the face. Even if I was still, um, if, even if it was still a combustion, it still would destroy you. What a surprise! <laughs> yeah, yeah, your Pokemon. Yeah, they were weak. Honestly. I know there are some people who really, really like using Aggron, which is Aeron's fully evolved form, but eh, I really don't care for it all that much. And yeah, I'm gonna just switch to PSI so he can get some levels. Um, oh no, ooh, a Carbos. That could be kind of helpful. Um, yes, that's a, one of those um, vitamins that, use, that increases speed, I believe. And yeah, I'm just gonna use it on Skarmory. Um, I actually... Um, a friend of mine from um, who watches my videos actually did some calculations on that Skarmory and checked its IVs and everything, which again is getting into competitive battling, and wow, another one of those boosting um, items. Hmm, not bad. I think I believe, I believe that boosts attack, I think. But um, yeah, he ran some EV calculations on it, and it has pretty good IVs for, I think, HP, attack, and speed, which actually is not too bad. Um, I would have preferred if one of those was defense, but eh, I'm not complaining. It's still going to be a great defender. Um, I find it ironic that in the end of the last video, how I made that Chugga Conroy reference, he was he he was getting a coughing, which is again a great defensive Pokemon, and I was going for a defensive Pokemon. The only way that could have been more ironic is if it was his third team member, which but I think by then. Uh, yeah, that was, that was like his fifth team member of the game, um, which is kind of interesting. He had like five team members by the, like, the f fourth gym, which was kind of surprising. Well, not really that surprising. I mean, I'm just saying that because I have three Pokemon and I'm already on to the way to the fourth gym, so I'm kind of behind him, but that, I really don't care. Okay, I almost ran into that double battle right there, but I'm not gonna battle them in a double battle. That, I don't know what I was saying right there, but okay. <laughs> Lucas, cool. Earthbound reference for the win. I mean, Mother 3 reference for the win. Not knowing the game for the lose. <laughs> but okay, yep, die to Psychic. I think it's funny how they have a Psychic move called Psychic. Why don't they just have, why don't they have water moves called Water or Fire moves called Fire? Well, Psychic, it's so, it's so overpowered, um... I was about to say, it's so bloody overpowered. What am I, little Karibo all of a sudden? God, another reference to anime slash the bridge series. God, that's gonna, that really is going to become my thing. No, the mountains aren't unforgiving. I am unforgiving in Pokemon games. God. Yeah, have you made your... <laughs> Ironic, that girl says, have you made your Pokemon evolve that much? And I have two fully evolved Pokemon. Well, actually, no, technically, all my team members so far are fully evolved, considering... Skarmory doesn't actually evolve. But god, if Skarmory evolved, that would be absolute hell. I mean, you would you could you'd probably be doing one damage per turn. That would be pretty ridiculous. Um and a Meryl. At this point of the game, I really would rather be battling a Zoomerils. I mean, come on. And I mean, I know, yeah, I'm over leveled, but still. Even if you're not even if you're new to the game, I mean this, these areas are just too easy. Listen, Nintendo, make Pokemon a little harder. Not much harder, just a little harder. Or at least in the remakes of Hoenn that I hope they're doing for Generation 5. Make the trainers a little tougher. Oh, and great, we got another, um, uh, we got a Yodeler. I hate Yodeling. And just for that, I'm going to sweep you. Which, not like you would have been able to do much about that anyway. Okay, Geodudes, blah, 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 blah. Speaking of making people, um, speaking of making the games a little bit harder, 
I mean, seriously, we have random trainers who are better than gym leaders. I never liked that. I mean, it's just annoying. They're supposed to be such great trainers. And we have trainers that overlevel them. <sighs> oh, well. Died of confusion. But, okay, whatever. Okay, thank you for dying. Okay, I better cut this soon because I'm starting to run out of stuff to say. And actually, yeah, now that we're getting near the next little cave, um, we probably should be cutting it right about here. So, I'll see you guys next time, and... God, I love the Meteor Falls music, it's just so relaxing.